America's summer golf capital is also home to one of America's most talented and decorated golf instructors. Boyne Mountain in Boyne Falls, Michigan is his home. And although the season may be shorter than others, this PGA head professional is not only fixing swings, but influencing the way golf is taught all around the world. And his dedication to the game is unparalleled. This is the story of Mike Fay Golf. Who is Mike Fay? Mike is the PGA head professional of the Monument Course at Boyne Mountain Resort. He has been a great player and teacher for over 20 years. As a player, Mike shot a course record 63 on the legend at Shanty Creek Resort in 2001 during the Michigan PGA Section Championship, the second lowest round in Michigan PGA major history, and a top five finish in the event. For that effort and others that year, Mike was selected to be a member of the 2002 Fuller Cup team. In 2003, he won the DeFeo Lexus Shootout in New Jersey and the Rico Clambake Pro-Am in 2004. For three straight years, 2008 through 2010, he won the Boyne Pro Shootout Championship at Boyne Highlands Resort. But it's as an instructor, innovator, and steward of the game that Mike has been most successful. His skill and talent have been recognized around the world. This past year, Mike was named as Michigan's first and only Golf Channel Swing Fix certified instructor. Swing Fix, an online lesson program with approximately 60 worldwide instructors, has helped to grow the game of golf, introducing people who might not otherwise have done so through the normal lesson process. Swing Fix instructors have been featured on the Golf Channel's website as well. Recently, Mike received honorable mention honors as a top 50 certified instructor for U.S. Kids Golf, the industry leader in junior golf instruction. And of course, he is the 2012 Northern Michigan PGA Teacher of the Year. At the Mountain, he has revived and created many new programs. Mike was honored to be asked to be the volunteer lead instructor of the first tee of Boyne Highlands at Boyne Mountain. At the Mountain, he runs a junior clinic series throughout the summer modeled after the U.S. Kids Golf game-based learning system. The Boyne Mountain Junior Cup is based on the current PGA Tours FedEx Cup format. This season-long tournament series allows juniors to compete for the honor of holding the cup. Any junior can win the cup regardless of age. I'm David Schmansky and I'm on the Grosse Point South Golf Team. And I started working with Mike a few years ago with uh, the goal of making the Grosse Point South Golf Team. And he's helped me along the way achieve that goal. I really like working with Mike because I'm very passionate about the game of golf. And he's very, very passionate about teaching the game of golf. And so I think that we work really well together. And he's always there to work with me and to explain to me what I'm doing wrong and the way he teaches just is really uh, connected with me. Oh. When I started working with Mike, I did not have a lot of experience. I was shooting low to mid 90s, but within the first year of working with Mike, I started to improve my game. And in about two years after, uh, it was when I became a freshman in high school, and I made the Gross Point South golf team. And that summer, I started playing in high school go er, golf tournaments. I got to play in the state finals, which was an awesome experience. And over the summer, I played in individual tournaments. I won a couple of them, which was awesome. And none of that would have been possible without Mike. His junior players program teaches competitive golf to area high school students, similar to the junior elite program. He offers an open clinic every Sunday morning for anyone wanting to work on their short game. And his four ladies only program has been copied by many pros. It is a weekly one-hour program where women of any age and any skill level can participate. Most importantly, the women choose each week what part of the game they want to work on. Hi, I'm Ann Sims. I'm a CCB member, and I participate in Mike's For Ladies Only Clinic. I love the drills I learn each week because I use them at home to help improve my golf game and my swing. Hi, my name is Carol Bowman. I'm a CCB member. I live here at Boyne Mountain. Um, Mike is primarily here, so that works out really good for both of us. 
I'm probably one of Mike's very first students and have been a student of his since he came here. Uh, that would be four seasons now. Um, I really liked um, Mike's approach to teaching. Uh, we're really happy that this is all happening for him. Uh, I think Mike really likes to teach and uh, I think that's important because I know personally some pros that really don't like to teach or really don't have the time to teach. But uh, he likes it and he takes the time and, and that's pretty obvious. Um, I know myself and several of the members are very happy that uh, he's involved with uh, the Golf Channel and Swing Fix. I think that's uh, done nothing but um, improve his teaching skills. Um, probably when I first started with Mike, I was up uh, in the mid-20s as far as scoring. Um, and now I've gotten, down, gotten my index down as low as 15. At the moment, I'm 17. Um, uh, he has been instrumental, uh, certainly improving my play, um, making my attitude about play really uh, better. Uh, I, I certainly can enjoy the game more because of some of the things that he's taught me. Uh, out of the last four years, I think I was first flight championship or champion uh, twice and uh, have uh, led my teams uh, in the Tuesday Ladies uh, Play Group uh, to winning several of those events. Although golf may end outside, Mike takes the game to a whole new level at Boyne with the addition of the Boyne Highlands Golf Simulator. Using computer video analysis, he keeps his students at the top of their games throughout the year. The number of people playing golf in the U.S. has been declining. Golf is the greatest, the game we all love. We all know the past few years have been tough on the game. With golf courses closing and less people playing, with our struggling economy. If we want to save the game, we have to do something. Something to get golf going again. There's a movement happening right now. The world of golf instruction is changing, and I have been and plan on being at the forefront. We're no longer lesson providers, we're coaches. There are many ways to bring people back to the game and introduce the game to brand new golfers. One way, I believe, is through golf instruction. Engaging people both on and off the golf course is very important. It also requires instructors to change their business approach from being lesson providers to being great coaches and that requires constant communication. Mike is an innovator. He maximizes coaching sessions by using the V1 Golf Academy software. Like many professionals, he provides his clients with video analysis with easy to understand summations. But he goes much further. The app by Mike Fay Golf. Mike has his own mobile app to connect directly with his students. His students can view the latest articles from the website, view a recap of their previous lesson, submit a question for Ask the Pro, and much more. This app was featured in the February edition of PGA Magazine. Using this mobile app and MikeFayGolf.com, any player at any time from anywhere can look back at their lesson and remind themselves of the problems they were having and how to fix them. Yes, hello, I'm Mike Snyder. I'm a member of Country Club of Boyne. I've uh, taken uh, lessons from uh, Mike Faye since uh, last summer, several sessions. Uh, must say I really like Mike. Uh, he's a very patient guy and uh, needs to be with me I, and uh, just enjoy him a lot. Uh, he's, he's a very hard-working, uh, very uh, high integrity, honest, honest fellow and as I said very, very patient and he's had to be with me. Uh, one of the things that I think I've learned from him uh, as much as anything is uh, the, the uh, importance of the fundamentals, uh, especially uh, setup and posture and that sort of thing, which uh, those, those things have helped me uh, start to get my game in better shape. Uh, one of the things that, that Mike does is uh, uh, videos your, uh, your swing. And uh, then, uh, of course, I received that uh, 
uh, online, uh, and I also uh, watch a number of things he does through uh, what he calls uh, chip shots, uh, where he uh, shares uh, different lessons and uh, that sort of thing. They're, they're very simple and straight to the point, and uh, I really enjoy those. Uh, another thing that, that uh, just recently we've, we've started uh, this winter, and actually I've taken uh, some uh, lessons this winter inside, and uh, I found that to be very uh, helpful, probably as much uh, not worrying about uh, where the ball is going and that sort of thing, and just working on fundamentals uh, as anything. Uh, we've used some uh, technological uh, things uh, uh, such as uh, swing bite that, that he and I have uh, used to, and, uh, to look at my swing, and uh, I think that's starting to help also. But the use of a mobile app is just the beginning of the ways Mike has brought golf instruction into the 21st century. He embraces technology to help golfers of any skill level to learn from any location. Let's start with Mike's own website, www.mikefaygolf.com. Mike has assembled a team of writers from around the world to contribute to the content on the website. Each writer has their own specialty, golf fitness, the mental game, rules of golf, history of golf, and golf instruction. These writers are leaders in their particular fields. The Mental Game with Scott Kapla. Golf Fitness with Brent Davis. Playing by the Rules with Frank Costella. And of course, Swing Instruction with Mike Fay. My name is Frank Costella. I'm the PGA Teaching Professional at Golf Country Driving Range in Marysville, Michigan. I'm a Master PGA Professional. I also serve as a Rules Official for the Blue Water Junior Golf Association and the Michigan PGA, as well as being a consultant for Franklin Golf, which is located in Clarkston, Michigan. My introduction to Mike Fay was through a Facebook friend request that he sent to me in early 2011. Uh, I was not quite sure how Mike knew me or where I knew him from, so I clicked on his profile and saw that he was the golf professional at the Alpine Golf Course at Boyne Mountain and I realized Mike knew me through my association with the Michigan PGA as a rules official at the Tournament of Champions which is held at Boyne typically at the end of August or at the end of July first part of August. Uh, the first day I was there working for the 2011 championship Mike approached me and asked me if I would stop in and see him when my workday was complete which I did and Mike started telling me about uh, an internet blog that he was writing and a Twitter show that he had and he saw that I was engaged in uh, social media to some extent and he wondered if I would be interested in possibly writing an article for his golf blog and being a participant in his Ask the Pro and he wanted to get this launched um, in early 2012 so in January 2012, I wrote my first article for Chip Shots, and I participated in my first uh, Twitter Ask the Pro show that Mike holds every Sunday evening from 9 to 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, in April, Mike called me and he said, you're not going to believe this, he said, but my numbers are increasing dramatically on the Twitter show. And he said, all of a sudden, I'm starting to get a lot of um, viewers to my Chip Shots blog page and he was pretty excited about this and I was floored because I didn't realize that uh, Twitter was going to have such a dramatic effect on the growth of Chip Shots or the growth of Ask the, Go Ask the Pro. So it was uh, pretty exciting to hear the enthusiasm in his voice and it was exciting for me to realize that people were getting an opportunity to learn more about golf, to learn more about the golf swing, to learn about anything involved with golf. And it kind of went along with the Golf 2.0 that the PGA of America was starting to uh, foster. And it was a program that was designed to help grow golf. 
Hi, I'm Brent Davis, and I'm here today to tell you a bit about myself and my golf coaching background. First of all, I'm an Australian PGA golf pro and have been for 15 years. Since graduating from my traineeship, I have spent a heap of time building on my skills, and that has uh, given me a AAA rating through the Australian PGA. This is the highest qualification I can gain through the Australian PGA, and I'm extremely proud of it. Um, it also shows that I'm keeping on top of coaching trends and how things are building and improving over time. Um, I realised very early in my golf coaching career that there was a lot more to being a good golfer than just having a good golf swing and this took me down the path of studying sports science. Um, I found out pretty quickly that I, I had to expand on just my pure golf swing understanding. Um, so I came across some courses being run by the University of Queensland here in Australia. In the last two years I took a, a plunge into social media and had, was fortunate to come across a guy by the name of Mike Fay um, and he's been great to set me up in his Ask the Pro Twitter show. Um, been fortunate enough for him to send questions towards me um, and help build my profile in social media. Uh, from that start with Ask the Pro, uh, Mike asked me to write some blog posts for his site, MikeFayGolf.com, um, on golf fitness and training, and that has led to the blog posts that you see now on, on, on Mike's site. Um, basically, I apply my postgraduate sports science information, combine it with my golf coach, golf swing understanding to write posts on how you can improve your golf swing based on physical fitness. Um, this blog is always going to evolve and change over time. Um, I want to write some more posts on the topics that I find exciting. I also want to write posts on what you guys as a golfing public um, send in as questions and feedback. Um, I'm extremely excited about this uh, about these jobs with, with Mike. Um, I think we've got a great opportunity here to grow the game of golf and improve the way golf coaching is done in general. And I can't wait to keep this stuff going and, and get it out there to the general public. His Chip Shots newsletter is emailed to 400 people about every two weeks with news and updates on his web content. MikeFayGolf.com has more than 2,000 friends via 30 groups on Facebook. He reaches out through traditional media avenues as well. After one of his articles ran in PGA Magazine, his webpage views shot up from about 300 per month to more than 3,000. Mike has been a guest on Michigan Golf Live Radio, Frank Beckman Show, Vic McCarty's The Locker Room, and The Big Golf Show. He is interviewed often by Golf Channel and has been live on the Golf Channel Swing Fix Facebook page answering viewers' questions. Do you know what this is? This is a powerful symbol. It groups together ideas from all corners of the world. It allows people to communicate in a way they've never done before. We use this hashtag to help people play better golf. It's Ask the Pro and it's only on Twitter. Really? You've never seen a show like this? Hi there, my name is Susie Whaley and I'm a PGA LPGA golf professional that works at TPC River Highlands in Cromwell, Connecticut. And if you want to lower your scores, just hit the golf ball better or have more fun on the course, watch Ask the Pro. Hashtag Ask the Pro. Created in March of 2011, Ask the Pro has taken the online social networking scene by storm. In this one-of-a-kind online show, viewers have the opportunity to connect with some of the world's best from the golf industry. The golf personalities who have participated in Ask the Pro include major champions and golf icons like Annika Sorostam, David Duvall, and Sir Nick Faldo. Former PGA Tour players and Golf Channel analysts Brandel Shambly and Charlie Reimer. Radio sports show host Chris Russo and executive editor of Golf World magazine, Ron Syrak. The support for Ask the Pro has been overwhelming, making it a worldwide success. Instructors from around the globe provide their time to help people play better golf. More than 70 award-winning PGA, LPGA, Canadian PGA, Australia PGA, Italian PGA, club fitters, junior golf leaders, and golf fitness experts 
routinely participate in Ask the Pro. Some of the world's best golf instructors have participated, including Hank Haney, Susie Whaley, Jason Hellman, Brad Redding, Rick Grayson, John Graham, Martin Chuck, Kate Tempesta, Kirk Aguri, Ed Bowe, and Nancy Corsolino. Ask the Pro was featured in an article in the May edition of PGA Magazine for its creativity to help people play better golf through social networking. Since then, the show has grown and grown, gaining worldwide success. What do the pros say about Ask the Pro? Hi, I'm Andrew Rice. As golfers, we've all got questions. Do I hit up on the ball with the driver? Do I need a longer or a shorter putter? How do I hit a draw? We've all got questions. Have them answered on Ask the Pro. Hey, this is Brandon Stooksbury from TPC Las Vegas in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ask the Pro, such been, it's been such a great experience it, you know, as a golf professional trying to grow the game, to, to be able to communicate with people in that form and that fast and give them help. It's been such a great experience. It's, it's awesome. My name is Kate Tempesta. I'm the owner and founder of Kate Tempesta's Urban Golf Academy and hashtag Ask the Pro. We're growing golf. Hi, my name is Martin Chuck. I'm the inventor of the Tour Striker training products and I coach at the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. We've got the Tour Striker Golf Academy. I love getting the questions on Sunday night on Ask the Pro. You know, Sunday nights I get these tweets and it's random questions from around the country and around the world asking about, hey Martin, how do I fix a slice? How do I fix a hook? Mike Fay at Ask the Pro sends them right to me and I'm happy to help. So keep the questions coming at the hashtag Ask the Pro. Hi, I'm Melanie Gunning. I uh, teach at Stack and Tilt Golf Academy in West Palm Beach, Florida. And I love Ask the Pro. I love that it is growing the game and it's just super fun. I love answering all the questions and I just think it's a great thing to do. It brings everybody together from all around the world. With 20 years of playing and teaching experience, it's easy to see why Mike has become a leader in the world of golf instruction. Everything from cutting-edge social networking techniques to creating a mobile app, Mike has helped to change the face of teaching golf. We are no longer lesson givers, we are coaches, he says. Hi, I'm Mike Chumbler, Director of Golf for Boyne. I'm here today to talk about Michael Fay, PGA golf professional and a wonderful golf instructor. I feel that, you know, there are many good teachers in the world, but the great ones are truly the ones that can adapt their teaching style to their, the different levels of the students they teach. And what I mean by that is I, I feel like sometimes people are intimidated to get a lesson, whether it be a, a female, a child, uh, versus your very accomplished player, but Mike has the wonderful ability to adapt his teaching style to their learning style. Um, like I said, I think there are a lot of good teachers, but they have a hard time getting their point across with their students because the, the student may or may not grasp what they're trying to teach them. So Mike has done this with extreme success. Uh, I've, I've witnessed ladies uh, that are members at our club that maybe in the past were, were intimidated to take a lesson. Now they're some of his most loyal students. So that is one part I think he's extremely good at. I also think one of Mike's strengths has been to embrace the, the you know, the social media world and um, really a wonderful promoter of himself via the Golf Channel, uh, doing his Swing Fix programs, Ask the Pro via Twitter. Uh, Mike is exceptional at all these areas and done a wonderful job to market himself. What, what's impressed me about Mike Fay is his innovative use of social media and he's done it in a way that is unique, I think, to our industry. And he's recognized how to connect the dots probably better than anyone else has. And I think that uh, is alone the reason he you know, deserves a great deal of credit and recognition. Um, and I think it's the tip of the iceberg in how we're gonna try to grow this sport. And him bringing the experts and the people and the talent that he has to bear um, through social media is a new way to communicate golf and, and teaching. And I think it's going to be a, a great technique that others are going to pick up and it's going to help grow the sport. There you have it, the 21st century golf instructor coach.